breathing problem no one could solve for more than two decades. Turns out it was a Lego. Yep. Part of the classic toy had been lodged for more than a quarter of a century in this guy's nose. Let's try has more. 32-year-old Andy Norton loved Legos growing up. At age six, Andy did what a lot of kids do. Put them right up their noses. I have a distinct memory of myself putting that in my nose. When the little piece called a Lego dot wouldn't come out, six-year-old Andy concocted a plan that only a kid could come up with. Andy put a Lego man like this up the same nostril, hoping that it would click onto the dot and both pieces would come out at the same time. I was hoping that piece would stick to his head and I could just pull it out. But I didn't quite understand that if I did that, well, then his head was going to get stuck. And that's exactly what happened. The Lego head got stuck too. Mom came to the rescue. She's pulling him out with the tweezers and... As she's looking around, she's like, okay, there's, there's nothing else left in here. We're good to go. But mom didn't realize the other tiny piece was still inside. For the next 26 years, yep, you heard right, 26 years, Andy was tormented by congestion, asthma, and sleep apnea, but never made the connection. Then one day... I'm in the shower, doing my thing, and blow my nose in there and out pops this lego and this memory came rushing back to me and this is the lego piece that has been stuck in andy's nose all those years social media is flooded with kids who've ended up in the doctor's office with legos stuck in their noses what's in your nose a lego i had a lego up my nose for 26 years legos are one of the most popular toys there are 36 billion pieces made every year